As you know, there isn't just one type of schooling for children. You probably know about private, home, religious, and charter schools. But did you know there are even more classifications of education that the general public does not know about? We are going to cover three types of education for deaf students. We'll start with two similar to a U.S. public school. The first is day schooling. A day school is precisely the same as a typical public school student. Students arrive in the morning, attend classes, hang out with friends during breaks, participate in clubs, and leave in the afternoon. The only difference, this is a school for the deaf. Later we will discuss what happens inside various schools for the deaf, but today, we are just focusing on categorizing schools. Next is mainstreaming. Mainstreaming is when deaf students attend a public hearing school, meaning a majority of their classmates are hearing, and they could be the only deaf student. Now some schools have a deaf and hard of hearing program, so there is an increased number of deaf students on campus. However, any public high school can be a site for deaf students. Again, this video only focuses on the categories. Later, we will discuss how these students navigate a mainstream program. The last type we will cover, and there are more categories we could discuss, is residential schools. As the name implies, students who attend these schools are residents of the school, meaning they live there. They may go home on weekends or only on longer breaks, such as during winter and summer breaks. But throughout the school year, the students will live on campus in dorms. Residential schools for the deaf exist throughout the United States, but are rare. Most states only have one state residential school, maybe two for larger states such as California. The two California schools for the deaf are located at Riverside and Fremont. Historically, residential schools were a big part of deaf education. We must recognize the importance of residential schools as developers of deaf culture and American Sign Language. Deaf people being together, learning the same language, and being able to connect with other deaf people is the reason why the culture has developed the way it has. This includes the segregation of black deaf students and the subsequent creation of black ASL. To end this video, all three types of schooling are equal to the others. They all have their benefits and areas they could improve. In future videos, we will discuss what an educational setting can do to provide the best education for deaf students.